I wanted to do another clip, but I didn't want to do it about the thin client. I would rather do it about this guy. It's just a, a pickup coil inside of an audio amplifier. Usually this was used for old folks who couldn't listen to their telephone, but because everything gives off an electromagnetic signature, basically uh, an electromagnetic field, so we have this IDE cable. Let me get that away so it doesn't pick up. So we have this IDE cable, and I'm currently uh, F-disking that guy right there, right? But there's no activity LED going on. I don't know if he's really doing anything. So what this guy is, is like I said, it's a pickup coil and an audio amplifier. And basically what it's doing is the coil of wire that is right in here is picking up electromagnetic signals and this amplifier is just, well, amplifying. It's an audio amp. And then I just added a standard coin cell battery. And you can actually go through almost all of your components to see if activity's happening. Now, the uh, this guy right here just said, uh, we're done. Come on, focus in you. Okay, do you want to use the maximum file size? Now, I'm going to put this guy on the drive. Ooh, that's a bit loud. All right, that's the normal sound of platter spinning. Let's hit enter. But with that, you can hear that there's data. That's really, really faint because it's traveling through the IDE cable as a bus. The drive itself is kicking off tons of noise. Also, your, your RAM. The processor is going to be shielded due to the heatsink. But yeah, just wanted to show. You can take a standard audio amplifier with a coil of wire or a telephone pickup coil. Like I said, this guy right here straps to a headset of a phone so old people who are hard of hearing can hear on the phone. I'm using it as an electron stethoscope. 